Hey guys, it is Stevie here, and today I am doing a cheaper kids clothing haul. Um, I am one of those people where I don't buy clothes consistently for my daughter. I like to buy them in bulk when there's like a really big sale. Um, and then I will usually buy for at least like the season that I'm in and then a little bit for the next season. So in Arizona, really, we have two. <laughs> we have sweater weather for a few months out of the year and then it's shorts and tank tops for the rest of the year. So that's pretty much all I buy for. So um, basically, Children's Place, or the Children's Place, they were having a huge sale. It was 60% off their entire store, including clearance items. And then you also got back five dollars and bucks or ten dollars and bucks for every like hundred bucks or fifty bucks that you spent. I think it was fifty or I don't remember. I would have to look it up. This was done a while ago, but um, I decided to go ahead and stock up on everything we would need for when it gets cooler um, because last year I bought everything for three T, which is the size my daughter was supposed to be this year because um, she is three and a half. But I have found that she's kind of growing and going through a really big growth spurt. So we're moving into 4T clothing. So when I saw that sale, I decided I really needed to get in on it and get her stocked up for winter. So this is my order from the Children's Place. It came in a big box. I spent before tax, um, because I did get free shipping for spending over $100. But before tax, my total came to about $120. Um, but I got a huge box full of clothing and yeah, let's go ahead and let's dig into this giant box or we will be here forever. So I picked up these pants. These are just black pants that have like these really pretty buttons going up the sides of them. Um, they kind of remind me of like military-esque style. Um, and these are 4T. Now some of the clothes I bought in 5T because I don't know where she'll be next year. And I think, <laughs> I think that would, might have been a mistake. We will hold on to the clothes, obviously, but 5T is a lot bigger than 4T. Like, there is a big jump. 3T and 4T are pretty similar, but once you get to 5T, it's like a little adult. But then I got this really cute um, sweater, long sleeve with the foiling on it. I really, really, really like the stuff. Um, I like the girly stuff with like the flowers and the hearts and the foiling. I'm a sucker for it. This was a 4T as well. And then, oh, sorry, my husband opened the door. And then I picked up a little Halloween outfit with this little pumpkin. This was also 4T and I'm hoping that it will be cool enough this year um, during Halloween for her to wear this. Last Halloween I had purchased um, a long sleeve costume and it was nowhere near cool enough for it so we kind of had to improvise um, and put her in something else and then these are the matching pants they have the cute little pumpkins i love these i love halloween we've already started decorating the house and it's only halfway through september but i don't care i am so excited so another thing that i really needed to stock up on were pajamas so I like to keep the house really, really cool at night, um, mostly because I've got my big tummy here. I'm in the third trimester, I'm 30 weeks on Tuesday, and I really, really like it cold, so we always bundle her up in really warm PJs so I don't freeze her out. Um, so she still wears full PJs, she doesn't wear like the little short sleeves and shorts. It's full long sleeve PJs. I picked these up. These are a 5T, and I'm just saying, are five-year-olds giants or something? This is huge, but I really like it. It has the little castles on it, very girly, which is her style right now. And um, as we go through this, I'm just preemptively organizing the piles into 4T and 5T. And then this is another 5T set. It's a little gummy bear. It's so cute. I love this and then the pants are probably my favorite I love gummy bears so I just thought these were so cute with the little gummy bears something like this I can probably fit her into um, in a few months um, but it is 5t and as of right now it would definitely be way too big so I also picked up this sequined cat long sleeve shirt this is also 4t um, everything that I got, when I calculated it out, everything 
that I bought averaged out to be about three or four dollars per piece, which is great for brand new clothes. That's normally what I expect to pay when I go to a consignment store, um, if not more. Some consignment stores in my area are ridiculously expensive. And then I picked up this cute little like tribal-ish raccoon. Um, I just thought this was really cute. And then along the sleeves, you probably can't see it, but there's like lace cutouts along the sleeves, which is really sweet. And then um, these PJs she actually picked out herself. These I had to get in a 5T because they didn't have it in 4T in stock. But it's just two little geese and it says silly goose. Um, but she was hanging out with me online while I was shopping for it and she really liked these. So it's just like pink and white stripes. Pretty sweet stuff. This was a four pack though for PJs. This just says duck duck goose. Um, and then the pants are the exact same pattern. And then I picked up this dress. This is going to be a really good transition piece um, because here in Arizona, as I said, we really have two seasons. And as it starts getting into the cooler months, it's not really, like you kind of want something with three quarter sleeves. And I saw this dress and I thought this would be perfect for around the holidays like Thanksgiving. Um, we try not to go too fancy when we get dressed up. And this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite things that I bought. It's this fuzzy little kitten sweater. And then the back has a little keyhole um, cut out with a little black bow on the top. And then the bottom is like this really cute like chiffon lace. It's just, it's one of those pieces where you can really only get away with it when you're a kid, but they're so sweet. They're so cute. And then I also really love this. It's a little sweater with a hedgehog. I mean, how cute. This is 5T, but I think this would actually fit her almost like a tunic where I could throw this over some leggings. Um, so it kind of covers her little tush. And then I picked up this little like um, glitter cat. These are little like cat ears and the nose and the whisker patterns. She's a little confused by this shirt. She doesn't know what the pattern is. Um, but I thought it was pretty cute and this was really cheap because I think it was on clearance and then it also had that additional discount on it. And then I also picked up this floral dress. This is also three quarter sleeves but it has kind of like the bell sleeves at the end um, which I really liked and then it flares out at the bottom. This is, I think this is 40. Um, I just worry this might be a little bit short for her once she gets around to wearing it. So this might be something where I put tights underneath. So I also picked up, um, you'll see a few pairs, I picked up a few pairs of just plain black stretchy leggings for her. We go through leggings, she's a rough and tumbled kind of kid. So I needed to make sure that she has plenty of pants because they get shredded around the knees. So um, I made sure to load her up with pants because right now she is in shorts because uh, it's too hot for pants. I picked these up in a 5T for next year. They were super cheap. And I really like this like, what is it called? Like chambray or whatever this style is. I love it. I really like it. And then I picked up a sweater with a little baby deer and it's so fuzzy and soft. Um, all of her clothes are fairly comfortable. It's really important to me that she's comfortable while she's playing. I don't like to put her in like skinny jeans that are kind of a stiffer material because you can kind of see it getting in her way when she's playing with her friends and running around. So I always make sure to try and make everything as comfortable as possible for her. I do have some of those frilly types of clothes where, you know, <laughs> really it's for me to take pictures and then she wants out of it and into something more stretchy. But. Yeah, I try to make everything comfortable. I got more pajamas. I love these little owls. The only thing, I didn't notice this until after I bought this. This lists off every single person in her family except for mommy. So it's a sister, daddy, brother, uncle, me, auntie, grandma, grandpa, cousin. What about mommy? You know, the person who's probably buying all this clothes for you, you know? And then cute little matching pants super cute so this is one of the things that I bought which you know honestly it's not my favorite seeing it in person I don't love it because it already has kind of like a faded look to it but it doesn't look like the intentional kind of trendy fading it looks like it's just been washed too many times 
so I don't really like that a whole lot it's just I don't know it's kind of like a meh type of dress but I'm glad I didn't pay that much for it so I don't really have that much to complain about and then I got this dress I really love these types of patterns um, in our family photos from last year Madeline wore a very similar dress um, or like a skirt and a shirt but I really love the plaid kind of look so this is a long sleeve one. This one I think is 4T as well. And I think it should fit her perfectly. It looks like it's supposed to be a little bit baggy, um, which I really like because I can throw like a vest or a jacket over it. And I think it would be really cute for family photos again if we did something similar. But of course, I am gonna be like 35 weeks pregnant during our family photos this, this year. So we'll have to see. And it's funny because I always dress us up in like fall clothing and it's still like 100 degrees outside so we're all sweating and ready for it to be over and the photographer is always in like shorts and a tank top and we're in like you know winter vests and like sweaters and boots and it looks like we're you know doing the fall thing when really we are sweating and we can't wait to get out of our clothes um so i love these pajamas <laughs> they have a little french bulldog and it's it says it's rough being this cute, but the pants are where it's at. They have polka dots and the little French terrier bulldog thingies. I don't know what they're called. They didn't have this in her current size, so I picked it up in 5T. I really love this, the little sequin best friends. I think it's super cute. And then I also just picked up this kind of plain pink shirt. It just has this kind of bib detailing up at the top. I think it's really sweet and I think it's just something where you kind of have to have you have to have like really fun clothes and like really decorated clothes but you also want to have some simple stuff and then I got a two pack of black leggings in total I think I got four or five pairs um, they were cheaper I normally just get the cat and jack ones from Target because they're seven dollars but um, these actually came out to be like three or four bucks a piece um, so it was kind of a no-brainer. I don't like the material as much as the Cat and Jack ones, but I think they'll be fine. They're still comfy and super stretchy. So, and then the final thing that I got is not from the children's place. This is actually something my husband picked out for my daughter, so I figured I would show it. Um, but he picked up some jammies for her with a little elephant on the side. And then the bottoms just have these really pretty flowers. Um, he loves picking stuff out for her and I think that's super sweet but this was all clothes for my older daughter um, for the baby that is on the way I'm actually filming a haul right after this so you will see this outfit again several times um, but I do have a baby haul of just baby stuff that I've kind of accumulated over the last couple of months um, I'm not gonna do really like a clothing haul because we pick up a few things here and there but for the most part, I have everything that I really need. I only pick up things that I see and I'm like, yes, I have to have this. It's so cute. Because um, I already had a little girl and I kept all her clothes. So I don't really need to be shopping for clothes that much for her. So for the most part, it's just little things here and there that I saw and decided that I wanted to get her. But that will be coming up next. And I am also filming my like favorite cleaning supplies like my cleaning supplies haul and review from Grove Collaborative um, because yeah why not I love cleaning supplies and I'm sure some of you guys do too but thank you guys so much for watching please feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon bye